Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering here. I'm actually on camera. Been a rare occurrence since the pandemic started. We've been getting such great turnouts. Uh, but this was a FNM. I think we were at like 11 or 13 players. Probably 11. Uh, so I jumped in. And we've got a breakthrough with a Lion's Eye Diamond on board. Just ditching the whole hand. And that's a way to start a game. Just go hellbent. Aether Vial from Yovan. So it's going to be Death and Taxes. Icarid coming back, remo removing Putrid Imp. And no Dredger yet. Three damage coming across. Kind of comical that there's no dredger. Flashing back, faithless looting with this LED getting an ancient grudge. What a miser! So despite not having a dredger, still finding the main deck ancient grudge to blow up that aether vial, which is a significant setback. And now Cabal Therapy making, we'll see how many zombies. Uh, and revealing a pretty vulnerable hand. Looks like it did hit a Thalia. And Cabal Therapy also hitting the Umazawa's Jite with the zombie token. So it looks like one bridge from below so far. Flashing back. Faithless looting. Seeing the Ox. Alright, that guy can help out. A Flicker Wisp. No value there, just getting a Flicker Wisp. Upkeep. Icarids in the graveyard. Could use the Cephalid Coliseum to try and get some better options as far as black creature goes. Cabal Therapy and Putrid Imp. This does stop the Ox from coming in this turn, which... Boy, from how grindy this is, that feels like that might have been a better line. Three damage, turning sideways, the Icarid not being traded. And just go into the end step to make a body. There was a Cabal Therapy in there. Could have been used, was not. And now Rashad and Port potentially really punishing the fact that there's no... Wow, there's still no dredgers. Yeah, really punishing the fact that there are no dredgers that... Ox could have came out and been a pretty big body. For another zombie token, enters the battlefield. No art on them. That is that is suboptimal there. Those are dry erase. Just draw a little zombie on there. Aether Vial coming in. Oh, and... Can Ox actually come out at this point? I mean, what is it, eight cards? I don't even know if there's enough cards to unearth the Ox. Or not unearth. Escape? Yeah, I think it's Escape. Yeah, so everything turning sideways. A token blocking. A token being blocked, so Bridge from Below is gone. And that may have been too aggressive just a single 2-2, two -two, four points of life left. Gemstone Mine being taken out. Could have ended the turn without attacking. Or even just sent the Icarid. Yeah, I think just sending the Icarid might have been fine there. That would have been six zombies on board. Or three zombies on board, six power, I mean to say. 
You do get to stack the bridge triggers however you like. And now at just two life, Spirit of the Labyrinth comes in and trades. And Yovan now kind of poised for a comeback. It looks like no black cards in the graveyard. No black creatures for the Icarid. Two life, though. I mean, Icarid coming back would be lethal. But Ox had his chance. There was a turn where that Ox could have came out of the graveyard. You gotta think that was the right call to do. Definitely some branching decision trees here. Giving Yovana way back into this game that he really didn't have much of a chance, especially game one. But it looks like he may pull this off. Thalia chipping away at the life total. Now Mother of Runes coming in. Both lands tap down. Just a couple of more turns here for Dredge, and it's going to be over. Stinkweed and finally a Dredger. Just a little bit of added insult. Can't say that you went the whole game without a Dredger. It showed up just at the end in time for you to lose. And now, ooh, a little bit of spice here. All right, Cycling Street Wraith during the opposing turn. Getting a Narco Amoeba. And getting a Golgari Grave Troll into the bin. Going down to one. Thalia replaces the other Thalia. No bridges to remove, but does create another blocker. And now Icarid popping out of the graveyard. Getting another Narco Amoeba. Very low life totals here. Both turning sideways. Thalia going to step in the way. Block Icarid. And it looks like that should do it, right? Mother Arun should be able to give Pro Blue if there's no more bodies. Otherwise, the Narco Amoebas just crack back for the win. But yeah, it looks like just turn everything sideways. And that is going to do it. What a bizarre first game. Yovan picking up game number one. And just so weird for Dredge not to have any Dredgers despite an incredibly dangerous opening with Breakthrough and Cephalid Coliseum. And it just goes to show you, Legacy is a wild format where just about anything can happen. Yeah, you don't expect Dredge to lose game one versus a ton of stuff in the format. Unless it's got like a combo finish. Oh, and mulling down to... Is this... What was it? Three or four cards there? What a disaster. Looks like four cards... Breakthrough cracking LED. Getting a Stinkweed Imp. Alright, so that's pretty good. Go Gary Thug. Hitting a Narco Amoeba. I'm going to need to draw for the next two. Everything going away. Narco Amoeba coming in. And Faithless Looting now being able to be flashed back. Now this is a turn one right here. Golgari Grave Troll got a Ancient Grudge in there just for kicks, though no real way of casting that right now. I've been thinking about adding Lotus Petal into Dredge. Just feels like the Ox wants to pull you in that direction. I don't think Ancient Grudge should be in there at all. A couple of Bridge from Belows, or perhaps a Bridge from Below and a Cabal Therapy. That's what's tapped. So can take a stab at Yovan's hand. Uh... Oh, and Graft Digger. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, no. Wow. That is brutal. So, four Death and Taxes. You got to ask yourself what one casting cost card could Death and Taxes have in hand? That's an absolute disaster for you. You really want to rely on 
Cabal Therapies that'll be coming up later for things like Thalia, which they're not going to be able to do on that first turn. But yeah, Graft Digger's Cage, probably uh, the only choice there. They could potentially have Surgical Extraction or Fairy Macabre, but if they had those, they would have already used them. So yeah, that's a, a little logic puzzle which wasn't even played out. Just Cabal Therapy left stranded. And this game should easily go to Yovan now being Hellbent. Oh, Wasteland getting rid of Cephalid Coliseum. And just three more cards to keep company of the shame of not firing off that Cabal Therapy. You know, even if it's not obvious, sometimes you just gotta take a minute to, to tank and try and think about what's the worst situation that could happen. Because that's exactly what came to be here. A couple of Flicker Wisps mercifully gonna close this one out in, in just a few turns. Yeah, just a couple of more swings and it'll just be nothingness. Game over. What a massive error there, not firing off that therapy. Getting that Graft Digger's Cage out of there would have really complicated things for Yovan. Of course, the top of the deck is still live. We see he has Rest in Peace in there as well, but yeah, that is absolutely not how to do it there. That is all for this one, but don't worry, there is a lot more. Uh, you can check out our older videos, and we're always putting out new videos from ELD's Time Vault Games in Bellingham, Massachusetts. If you want to help the channel, of course, you can like, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell so you can know uh, the next time our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.